Hello guys, welcome to Harsha Thoughts. Hope you're all doing good. So today I am going to explain you the different phases of the moon. Guys, I will explain the different phases of the moon in a simple way using Oreo biscuits. Yes guys, you heard it right, Oreo biscuits. So now let's get into the topic. So guys, to make this we need an A4 sheet, pencil, eraser and sharpener, Oreos, a spoon or a fork and sketches to label. Friends, here I am drawing the phases of the moon outline. Guys, the first step is to separate the Oreo biscuits. So here I have the Oreos. So now let me separate them. So hold it like this and separate. So you can take out this part. So this will become the moon. So guys here I am done separating all the 8 Oreo biscuits. So guys these are the Oreos how they look after I carve the cream. So guys, the moon travels around the earth. This is the earth and this is the moon. As the moon travels, it goes through different phases. There are 8 different moon phases. So now, let me tell you one by one. So from the starting, full moon, vanning gibbous, third quarter, vanning crescent, new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, Waxing gibbous. So the phases of the moon depends on its position in relation to the sun and the earth. So now let me explain briefly how it works. So first it's a full moon. Then it slowly starts to decrease and then comes vanning gibbous. Then again it starts to decrease then third quarter. Then again it starts to decrease and then vanning crescent. The after vanning crescent, it forms a new moon. So then comes waxing crescent. Then slowly, it keeps on growing and then comes the first quarter. Then again it keeps on growing and then it comes waxing gibbous. Then again it comes full moon. So like this, this is a continuous process. So it takes one month for the moon to go through all its phases. Friends, hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and give a huge thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye!